they threw an Oscar party. And she didn't come to the Oscars. She said, <laughs> she said, I think I'm going to go go do an Oscar party. But I don't think I'm going to the Oscars go. And I think I want to start it at 10. So she did an Oscar party or whatever. And a lot of people was in the room. The girls of the girls and the men of the men's were in the room. Now, I am, you know, one of the girls of the girls and the men of the men's. But she texted me, told me my, you know, my invitation was low. So I didn't make it to the party. But the rest of the girls was in the room. Now, people are upset on Twitter that DDG and Hallie are still together. And she is still, you know, springing him along and taking him wherever she you know, is that. And she's putting him in a whole bunch of rooms that he's never been able to touch without her. How do y'all feel about that situation? He's tired. Hallie needs to leave him. I'm over here. He's too childish. That's what I really feel. And I don't even mean to be dragging DDG, but girl, he is tired. DDG is not does it for me. And when they first got together, when they first got together on my channel, I spoke about it. I was like, oh my goodness, I'm so happy for them. I'm so excited for them. It's a cute thing or whatever. But in the all be all, the way he's doing her, like publicly, it's a whole, you know, girl, we go through things behind the scenes. We accept a lot of stuff behind the scenes. We do a lot of things. But when you bring it to the Facebook and the inner lands, that is crazy. And I just can't, if you publicly embarrass me, it is oh, It kind of turned me off on how he treated her and how he was in Ruby Rose dms like how we go from hallie back to ruby rose and as y'all see how y'all can't even see my other hand do y'all see how y'all can't see my other hand <laughs> how we go from hallie <laughs> to ruby rose y'all see how y'all can't see my other hand <laughs> but it's given he's now in rooms that he's never been in and he's using her like his people his crowd is blue face super shine there's no shade but that's his crowd that's the people that he hang out with that's the people that he have her hanging out with which is crazy now spice is pregnant shout out spice being pregnant but i'm kind of like gag how far along do y'all think spice is it completely gagged me because six months pregnant the reason i'm trying to ask how long she how long do y'all think she's been pregnant is because she just had surgery at the top of the year it is no shade but i was just trying to put the math together that's all i want to do i just want to be a little messy i just was trying to put the math together because i was like she just got the surgery in like december and that baby bump is big it looked like she's almost done okay it looked like she's almost done but shout out spice being pregnant or whatever let's move on to the next subject shout out to amanda for sending me this tea right here law law now y'all know I, I wanted to talk about this last week but my computer broke but law he is a fashion designer now i knew nothing about him until the stuff that went viral on twitter went viral last week he was working with zendaya he works with zendaya a lot i guess that's what the girls are telling me he works with zendaya or whatever and they were out at some fashion show now he's walking she's walking but she starts speedy gonzalez running she comes speeding against you know running in front of him and she throws her her, her skinny legend self in the seat and he's sitting there blinking with his bang game because there's no seat to the left of her, no seat to the right of her. And she kind of points to the back, which I didn't like that. I know I live for Zendaya. I've been living for Zendaya since, what was it? Shake it up. Her and Bella Thorne. She said, T-T-Y-L-O-S and I'm done, done, done for the rest. I live for Zendaya. But that was shady and that was tired. Oh my goodness, that was shady and that was tired. Um, I never heard of him until that incident um, with Zendaya, but reading up on him, getting information about what he does for the industry, that was tired. I think it was the brand's fault, but they should have made sure he had a seat. They should have made sure he had a seat for real though. They should have made sure he had a seat. Yeah, I don't think, I thought, I don't think she, yeah, I don't think that she knew what to do, but I just, I don't know. Maybe it's just my sudden hospitality. I know it from Memphis, Tennessee. If I come somewhere with somebody and, you know, we're coming into a thing and there is nowhere to sit, I'm not gonna, I just, don't, I wouldn't work like that. I, I don't you know, maneuver like that. My mom always told me, you stay with who you go with. Let me, my brother would have went outside and I come home two minutes before he get the door. She, I'm not getting in. She opened the door, I'm standing outside. Mama let me in. Where your brother? He right there. Where you gonna stand right there till he get here? It give very much stay with who you come with, but I don't know. Maybe I'm just being extra. I like law. It was tired. It was real tired. Her running in front of him was real, real tired. And I live for Zendaya. I live for Zendaya, but it was so disrespectful. And it just shows you that the people, this is this take, takes it out of the situation because I ain't trying to get counseled. But it just shows that the main faces, they're so like disrespectful to the people that kind of push them together. Of course, y'all might key, y'all might FaceTime, y'all might go get some lunch, da, 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 but you don't really respect, respect. And that's like, that's disrespectful. I did not like that. And it kind of looked like he was hurt a bit. Now, fast forward into today or either yesterday, he announced he's retiring. And I'm like, oh my goodness, that is crazy. Crazy. Let's talk about Megan real quick. Now, that wasn't even on my list, but Megan looks so good, and I love the energy she's back with. I told, literally, I told Megan, come back and be content. 
And that's what she's back and she's cunty. I don't need, I need you to rub it in everybody's face that you get good cocker spaniel every night. <laughs> you're skinny and you're a legend and you're rich. I need you to remind everybody that. I need her to come back and be cocky as, mm -hmm. I need her to be very cocky. And I lived it for the energy she's back on. I live. She said, um, Beyonce's my auntie. I called and I said, I want some Renaissance tickets. I said, oh, God, Did you get your Renaissance tickets or what? Oh, I ain't gonna tell y'all why I got them for. Okay, but you don't be hating on me, but I got them. Okay, I know you have a direct line. Oh, baby, you know I called up them directly. <laughs> Beyonce, <laughs> let me get a ticket. Yeah, let me tell you, let me ask you, are you going to their party tonight? I know they have a little oh, Oscar. I am, you after are. this, I am. Come on, man. First you know Beyonce is my auntie. I know that, mm -hmm. but you said I have to stop by Vanity Fair first for a, uh, what? A quick one too. <laughs> this is my first night out and I'm here. I'm ready. Rub it in my face. She said, I'm going to the after party. I said, oh, rub it. Rub it in our faces. Cause nobody was, everybody was so disrespectful to her over the last couple of months. I need her to come back and be cunty. And what she's giving me right now is what I need. Oh my goodness. But when she said she called Beyonce for some Renaissance tickets, I almost cussed out. You need to call her an ass up. <laughs> ask her, can you open up for the Houston date? Ask that. Okay, don't ask about no tickets. Moving on to this last subject. Now, y'all see the title of this video. And I'm going to keep this real cute. But now, y'all know Kadiva. I love Kenny. Can we talk a little back history? I was harassing Kenny. Kenny did not know who I was, girl. I was in his DMs, like, blowing him up and just texting him and texting him because I had posted him. And I was like, oh, look at look at Kadiva. Looks wonderful. I said, oh, look, Kadiva. Kadiva reposted me, you know, mentioned me back on the story or whatever. So they took me out of the requests over to the actual general. So, girl, I was just blowing him up off that one repost. And he was like, I don't know who this man is. I'm sending audios, girl. Burley responded to me. He was paying me this. And then I had got on his live one day and I had clocked him. I clocked that T. I was like, you never did hear me back. But you opened him though. It says scene. So ever since that day, I, after I clocked that T, he was texting me or whatever. And we became cool. Now, I absolutely adore Kenny. We shot several videos. I'm able to call him, cry, and do whatever I need to do to Kenny. And I respect the friendship enough to get on her and say this. Now, Kenny... Tweeted. Now, let me read y'all what Kitty tweeted. Nikki is using Ice Spice. I don't care. Ice Spice is genuine. He was just basically saying Nikki is, you know, using Ice Spice X, Y, and Z. Now, when he said this, girl, all these barbs came out of nowhere. I mean, nowhere. Absolutely nowhere. And I was gagging. Now, I didn't say anything. <laughs> I didn't say anything in the comments. And I didn't want them to tell me, girl, they, every time they see me shoot a video with Kenny, they call me knockoff Zachary Campbell. And I didn't want, I didn't want, I didn't feel like getting dragged yesterday. So I went and minded my business. But I seen it taking off a bit. And I said, okay. I said, I'll probably come back and it probably cool off. Girl, by the time I spent the block, it had got warm. <laughs> Baby, it was, ooh, it had got hot on Twitter. So they're dragging Kenny. They're seeing all of this, seeing all of that. And then this allegation goes Viral girl goes viral of saying that Kenny was homeless. Kenny was on that um Pepsi, you know, what's the opposite of Pepsi? Remember that girl? We trying to keep this monetized here. Kenny on Pepsi. Kenny was using Zachary Campbell for somewhere to stay. X, Y, and Z. Da, 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 do, 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 do. And I'm like, oh my goodness, that's ghetto and all lies. But I'll sit back with my arms crossed and I'll wait till one of the girls that Kenny talks to come and clear it up. The day goes on, the day progresses. Nobody comes and clears it up. And that's disgusting. That's really disgusting to me. For people to be keying with Kenny, for people to be communicating with him, talking to him, calling and not get on Twitter and clear this up. Definitely if somebody, I can feel if it was just a Barb thing situation, X, Y, and Z. But for Barb's to say, oh, Zachary is already spilling his tea. Heard on the street in LA that you doing this, doing that, da, 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 with the whoop, that they, that's why you left LA. No, that's not true. I feel like if I was anybody in the country, I'd be like, no, he was not doing no booger sugar and he wasn't standing in my house for free. We all was going down there with a little percentage to the office. And that's real disgusting to me. I don't, I don't vibe with that. And it's real disgusting. And I really don't, I really don't vibe with that. I feel like if you you're on my phone Monday talking to me and something crazy of somebody lying and said that you said something crazy about me goes viral on a Wednesday and you're just sitting back quiet. That's disgusting. That's real disgusting. To see stuff play out like this, it makes me not care about their content anymore because I'm cool with Kenny. Like, talk to Kenny. I harass Kenny three times a week, FaceTiming him and, and Negro doing whatever he doing. I'm, I like Kenny, but I still entertain Zachary Campbell. I still watch and like watch his content, but this turns me off to see how much of a snake you are. The barbs on Twitter, oh, you're nothing. You're nothing without Zach, da, da, da. No, it's the other way around. Cause let's be honest, I'm I'm gonna get a girl's tense with his tense do. I know me, I didn't really click any of Zachary Campbell's videos back in the day unless Kenny was in the thumbnail. I don't know. 
I never really click any of the videos unless Kenny was in the thumbnail, unless they were sitting, you know, looking at food with something crazy on, high as a fool. That's the only time I really watch Zachary count. I only watch Zach videos when Kenny was in the thumbnail too. Exactly. Exactly. It is no shade. Now, Zachary has improved in like, you know, being entertaining. But back in the day, he wasn't that entertaining for me to just watch something of his, you know, girl. But let's talk about Miss Arnell here. All I'm going to say is mumbling and cackling, girl. Mumbling and cackling, girl. Mumbling and cackling, girl. Mobbling and cackling? You can't be. You can't be. You can't be. You can't be. And I'm not going to say too much, but baby, you're probably eating this up right now because the attention is all for you. Because everybody was just talking about you trying to figure out how you're pregnant by a man you only known for about seven weeks. Okay? So don't mumble and cackle when you're pregnant by somebody you barely know. Okay? That's disgusting. Okay? Clutching my pearls that took me out. <laughs> Clutching my pearls that took me out. But no, that's disgusting. Do not. I feel like if it's a, you know, if it's a lot on your front door, go sweep around it real quick. You know? But no, I just don't know. Not mumbling and cackling with your situation. No. And I can't say in her defense, um, Kenny did tell me, it's fine. Just let her be. It's fine. Just let her be. Just let her be. It's fine. It's fine. Just let her be. And I said, no. She's mumbling and cackling. <laughs> no, but for real. I don't like that. I genuinely don't like that. And the, and the thing about it is because the media doesn't know that much. Like a lot of the barbs are talking. A lot of the, the, the stands and fans are talking. But they don't know that actually people are calling, talking. You're checking on Kenny. Da, 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 da. You're doing it. How are you checking on somebody? But you're kicking behind the scenes or you're not wanting to step up and clear your name and this person's names because people are attaching y'all's names with oh we heard this from them and ain't nobody stepping out to say none of this you don't want to defend me but you want to facetime me you want to key key that's it's disgusting it's really disgusting and i and i can't believe bia tried it like that that's how arnell saw it. she's like oh my gosh you guys let me know you guys it gives very much bia i can't believe bia tried it like that walking's had my call I just got off my call. But with that being said, girl, that is just my little spill of the situation, honey. Kenny does not do Coca-Cola. Kenny is not sprung out. You know, he don't really do none of stuff like that. I see Kenny a lot. <laughs> I just was at Kenny's house. I, when I, I think it was like three days ago. And he wasn't sprung out when I got there. I tell you, he walked out to the car perfectly. Um, You know, we had a great conversation about an hour and a half. So... He's not sprung out. <laughs> He's not sprung out. He's not sprung out of homeless either. I want to stay in his house. I said, this is so nice. I said, can I put this on the blog? I said, yeah. I said, this is so nice. So I just didn't like that. I did not like that. That was tired. Be like, why she in it? Girl, she in it because she whispering. Her, I know, whispering. Put her out and mouth together. Anyways, that was my tea. 